I'm I, used to I doing everything for other people because that's so, just the kind of person I am. You know, we, we just need, yeah. Good morning, it is Saturday. So we're actually gonna go film at Orient today. Orient is one of our clients that we're uh, filming TikToks and doing their marketing for. First though, I need to get dressed and we're gonna do that with the power of editing. And of course, we are late. I actually have the luxury of going by car today and there she is. We call her Silver Lightning. Out here scaring the Americans. I love driving in the morning, especially on weekends, because it feels like everything is just like kind of coming to life. I really like the vibe of like early morning driving. I should go on a Drake and drive. First stop, we made it to Wiggins place. I hope we can find a McDonald's that's open because they are sure not open 24 hours here in Europe. Our man here just basically finished his university studies yesterday. We're very proud. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure we're the first customers. They opened up two minutes ago. We are their first customer today. Pancakes. They also give you a tiny bit of Nutella. Take your pancake. Okay, so we have a whole list of content that we want to film now. We're going to be filming, as always, on Saturday. 20 videos. No, 10 videos. Like 13 videos or something 13 like that. videos. Why? Because we didn't deliver last week. <laughs> Happens. Got the hooks that we wrote up in McDonald's. We're going to take screenshots of each one of the hooks. And then we just scribble it out in notes, like, literally. Is it the best system? I don't know. Is it a system that works for us? Yep. So what just happened? One of the workers here asked us to take a picture. Because he said, yesterday alone. Like 10 people came and said that they came from TikTok. There's plenty more people who don't say that they came from TikTok, but we know they did. So pay us more. The cool thing about filming here is that we've done it for so long that we have so much footage stocked up at this point that we don't have to film everything. So we can just rework old footage. Let me grab my shit. We'll see ya. I really like wearing hats because there's like logos on it and it's just like a vibe. I like the look of it, but also it covers my ball spot. But in the summer, like it gets so sweaty so quickly and so hot. Um, real world problems here, guys. So the thing is Maddie got back from a pretty long business trip yesterday. She was gone for like six days and they didn't really have that much like real food. So I wanna make her some like actually like real good breakfast today. She loves breakfast. Her mom brought over these like traditional pancakes yesterday. So I'm gonna warm these up. Some eggs. You can still that, see that the top is pretty runny, but you can also see that there's like a little bit of like color on the edge of the eggs. I overcooked the eggs a little bit because I got sidetracked by uh, filming. Sausages are, are done. Here's the meal. It might not look the like fanciest, but you know, it's a couple of good things on a plate. So it's going to taste delicious either way. It's a little hard. It's, it's latte art. So that was a really good breakfast and a really dumb Rick and Morty episode, but in a good way. It was funny. So on a different note, we have this um, whirlpool uh, jacuzzi on our balcony. And I don't know if you can tell, but the water has been getting quite okay, murky okay. and milky. Yeah. So we kind of have to drain it now and switch the water. Ah, uh, we're almost done. Nice. And after we've drained it fully, we're gonna have to like clean it out and rinse it and clean it again and rinse it and then fill it up with new water. All right, so a little bit of work done. Let's go. Always late as usual. So we are going to the Vienna Pride Parade today, which should be a lot of fun. Getting out of my comfort zone here. Yay. How dare this train be late? What are we, Germans? There you go. Do you want a bottle? bottle of what? Y'all know that we're about the healthy lifestyle, so we got Coke, Sprite, and coffee. Nathaniel and I don't know how to pose. You know what we usually do? Hold this. He's gonna show us how men typically pose. Yes, no, and then the hands in the pockets, get the hands in the pockets pose. Oh, hey, no, actually, that's a good pose. Yeah, you got the little, <laughs> little that's actually a good pose, yeah. Apparently somebody else arrived, and we kind of want to get them over here. I don't like large groups of people. And at the Pride Parade right now, it was a situation that I've experienced so many times that in the beginning, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna give it a chance. I really honestly give the event or whatever a chance. And after a while, I get this like deep 
uncomfortable feeling that I just don't want to be there anymore. And I'm very proud of myself that at this point, I got to a point where I'm just like, you know what? This isn't the right thing for me. It might be the right thing for other people, and that's cool. This has absolutely nothing to do with the cause of this parade. It's a parade, it's super loud, and there's tons of people, and I'm not down for that. So this is exactly where we're gonna sit down and just chill for a little bit. I don't want this to be like a preachy moment at all. If you're out there and you don't feel comfortable in large group settings, always remember that who you're really trying to make happy is yourself. Definitely keep an open mind and try things, but never do it while making yourself feel shit about it. It's not worth it. I've gone so far away from Pride that I'm just looking for supermarkets again. You know, there's lots of women here with not many clothes on, which is cool, you know, you do you, girl. But goddamn, I can't imagine they're giving some boomer dude some heart attacks right now. Y'all can fight me on this, but Subway is great. I got their barbecue rib because it was the sub of the day. It was really weird. I wouldn't go for it again. A white chocolate chip macadamia nut cookie. Mm. Apparently there's a line to get into this villa. I don't care what it is, I will never stand in a line to get into a grocery store in my life. I'm stealing his vlog. We've got the wine, we've got all of our stuff, we've got drinks. The lines are super long right now, so I'm glad we went in earlier. Unsolicited vlog stealing. I like the street. There's no people here and it's quiet. This is a building. That is a building. Now we're in a park. You know, I don't know if this park is bringing enough economic value to the city though. I think like a nice like four lane highway with like a Wendy's and like a, a subway that nobody ever goes to and then just I'm like a big ass you're... parking lot around it. I think that I think that would be a great idea. I'm wondering if you're still going to be in a relationship tonight. <laughs> I've had quite that a bit is, of a wine. Enormous. It's gotten super windy and it started to rain. Woo! So we kind of went back into Pride and goddamn, I can't deal with this kind of situations. All right, fucking, I've decided to head home. I feel so much better instantly now that I'm not around so many people anymore and that it's not so loud anymore, especially. Ah, guys, life is good, life is good. Sun is out, it's a beautiful day. Ah, look at this. No people, no one here, beautiful sight. Since I am so a little bit tipsy, but I do wanna do work in a little bit, I'm just gonna chill for like 20 minutes, gonna calm down, I'm gonna have like a glass of water, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and then I'm gonna get to work. I'm just gonna give myself, you know, like five minutes now. Mm -hmm. 